Okay, good morning everyone. Good morning. So let's have a moment of silence for our prayer. Lord God, thank you so much for giving us another day to study and prepare for a good life in the future. Thank you for giving us the chance to continue learning amidst the pandemic, which caused a lot of changes in our lives. Bless our parents who work hard to support us. Bless our teachers who are doing their best to inspire and guide us, especially in these trying times. Bless our country and the people who continue fighting to stop the pandemic. Lord, fill us with your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Give us good memory so that we might understand and remember what we are going to study now. These we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Once again, good morning and welcome to our mapping class. For our attendance, let me call our secretary. Okay, so I'm glad to know that all of you are present today. Before we start, let me remind you about our virtual classroom rules. First, be on time. Next, be prepared. So all your things must be prepared before joining the class. Another, dress appropriately. Wear something um, which, which you are comfortable but presentable. Another, mute your mic if it is not your turn to speak or if there's someone who is talking. Find comfortable place and quiet place to study. Pay attention so you listen carefully. Be respectful, so respect your teacher as well as your classmate. Participate actively. Use the chat box appropriately. So if you have any comment, suggestion, or question, you may type it on our chat box. So these are learning objectives for today. Under quarter four, week two. <clears throat> First, describe the harmful short and long-term effects of cigarette smoking on the different parts of the body. Second, discuss the dangers of mainstream, second-hand, and third-hand smoke. Lastly, explain the impact of cigarette smoking on the family, environment, and community. Okay, let's have a review. Class, what do you think was our lesson last meeting? Claire? The dangers of cigarette smoking. The dangers of cigarette smoking. Okay. Or in other words, gateway drugs, okay? Because smoking is under the gateway drugs. Okay, so we will have an, uh, we will have an activity in order to know if you still remember our discussion last meeting. Our activity is matching type so you just have to match the description to its name or its term are you ready class yes okay so let's start okay number one 
Kindly read, Claire, and give your answer. These are drugs that a non-drug user might try, which can leave him or her to experiment and try more dangerous drugs. B, gateway drugs. Okay, so let's see if your answer is correct. Correct. Nice job, Claire. Number two, Ava. A practice where in a substance is burned and the resulting smoke is inhaled and exhaled by the user. A. Alcohol. Is it alcohol? Again, again, Ava, what's your answer? Okay, so let's see if your answer is correct. Correct, Ava. The answer is letter C, smoking. Nice job. And uh, the last one, Claire. A color lens, better tasting liquid that is consumed and or used either as a beverage or medicine. A, alcohol. Okay. Correct, Claire. The answer is alcohol so it only mean, it only means that you do understand our previous lesson okay so before we proceed to our lesson for today let us have another activity which is called picture connectivity so i'm pretty sure that you are already familiar with this you have you just have to study the picture carefully, then find the missing letters and for, form the correct word or words which is connected to the pictures. You have 10 seconds to give your answer or to answer each item. Okay, are you ready, class? Yes, Puma. Let's proceed to the first picture. Okay. Um, study the picture carefully and um, guess the word which is connected to that picture. I will give you only 10 seconds, as I, I've said earlier, to answer it. Your timer starts now. mom. High blood pressure. Okay. Again. High blood pressure. Okay. So let's see. Correct, Ava. The correct answer is high blood pressure. Next. Let's start the timer. Claire, what's your answer? Body odor. Good job, Claire. You got it right. Body odor. Third picture. Timer starts now. 10 seconds. Okay, Abba. Okay, correct. The answer is asthma. Second to the last picture. Let's start the timer. Clear. Heart diseases. Great job, player. Heart diseases. Okay. For the last picture, so let's see if you can guess the word. 
10 seconds will be given to you. Okay, time's up, Ava. Okay, you got it right, Ava. The answer is bad breath. Okay. So, congratulations for those who gave uh, who gave the correct answer, and for those who did not get any points from our activity, don't worry because later on we'll have another one. So make sure that you listen carefully to our lesson so that you can be able to answer the question that I will be giving you. You may also prepare a notebook or pen so that you can give, you can chat down the important details of our topic. Again, these are the words included in our uh, activity earlier. High blood pressure, body odor, asthma, heart diseases, and bad breath. I know that you have an idea already with our topic for today. Okay, Based on these words, what do you think, class, will be the lesson uh, that we are going to discuss, this, uh, discuss today? Anyone from our class? Claire. The dangers of smoking cigarettes. Very good, Claire. Our lesson for today is all about the dangers of cigarette smoking. Now, class, I want you to take a look at another picture. Okay, observe and study the picture. Class, what do you what uh, do the picture wants to tell its viewers? Jade. The picture tells us that cigarette smoking is dangerous. It has harmful effects or negative effects, especially in our health. Uh, correct. Um, Ava, so the picture tells us that cigarette smoking is really dangerous and it has harmful effects, especially on our body or our health. Second question, what are the dangers? Speaking of dangers, what are the dangers or harmful effects of cigarette smoking? Claire? It can cause diseases such as lung diseases, heart diseases, and cancer. Correct. It can cause different kinds of diseases. Third question, even though... Uh, even though, why do you think uh, people do smoke even though they know already or they are aware already with the harmful effects of cigarette smoking? Ava? Maybe because of curiosity about cigarettes, because of peer pressure and someone to act cool or act like someone. Okay. Yes. Those are some of the reasons. That's right, um, Ava, because uh, you've said fear, pressure. Okay. Another thing, they want as well to get attention from other people. And of course, some uh, used to smoke cigarette because for them it serves as stress reliever. They are, uh, they are smoking when they are stressed or nervous. So that's it. Okay. Okay. Did you see uh, um, the, the, what flashed on your monitor? Okay. Uh, we are going to begin our discussion with a game. That uh, game is entitled, Who Wants to Be a... Millionaire. 
So what are you going to do, class? You just have to choose the correct answer. And you must declare your final answer. After each correct answer, you'll, you will advance to the next round. Then another student will be calling to play for that next round. You have three life lifelines to use. And these are 50-50, ask the audience, and call a classmate. Am I clear, class? Yes, Paul. Okay. Are you ready? Up. Okay. Yes, so let us start. First question. Let's start with Ava. Okay. Number one question. Which of the following refers to too much exertion of blood against the arteries causing damage? Okay. A. Heart diseases. B. High blood pressure. C. Stroke. D. Cardio. Myopathy. Letter B. Okay. Is letter B. Is that your final answer, Ava? Yes, sir. Right. And because of that, okay, your class got 10 points. Let's proceed to the second question. Claire, it's your turn. And this is the second question. It involves the cardiovascular system. A, high blood pressure. B, heart diseases. C, stroke. D, cardiomyopathy. B, heart diseases. A. Is that your final answer, Claire? Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay, 20 points for your class. Okay. Let me call on Ava again. Third question. Effect of cigarette smoke to your body scent. A, scabies. B, athlete's foot. C, bad breath. D, body odor. What's your answer, Abba? Letter D, body odor. Letter D, is that your final answer, Abba? Yes, pa. Great job, Abba. You got 30 points. For our fourth question, Claire, foul smell exhaled from the mouth. A. Toothache. B. Cavity. C. Bad breath. D. Sore throat. C. Bad breath. Letter C. Is that your final answer, Claire? Up. Good job. 40 points. You got 40 points. Okay. Let's proceed to the fifth question. What do you call the inflammation of the airways from the trunk, trunkea into the lungs? Ava. Me, Is that your final answer? Yes, Paul. Okay, congratulations. You gained 50 points. And now let's proceed to the next, next question. Number six, clear. For number six question, it is a damaged air sac in the lungs. A, emphysema. 
Okay, letter A. Is that your final answer? Apo. Absolutely correct. Okay, you already have 60 points. Okay. For the next question, which of the following refers to the infection of the lungs? Ava. Come again, Ava. Letter C. Letter C. Letter C, Anna? Yes, sir. And letter C. Is that your final answer? Yes, sir. Okay, you do have now 70 points. Now we are already uh, in, the, in the second to the last question. A chronic disease which affects the airways. Claire. B, asthma. Final answer? Yes. Congratulations, 85 for your. And for the last question, a group of diseases which makes body cell grow uncontrollably. Ava. Letter A, cancer. Letter A, final answer. Oh. Okay. Very good. You got it right. So, congratulations. All of you got 100 points. Okay. Thank you for for your participation. You won 100 points. So again, these are the different um, the uh, those diseases uh, that are included in our activity are the dangers of cigarette smoking and tobacco use. Okay, what are those again, Claire? High blood pressure, heart diseases, body odor. Bad breath, bronchitis, emphysema, pneumonia, asthma, cancer. Okay. Thank you, Claire. Okay. Class, what do you feel when you look at the pictures? Ava? Can you see the pictures? What do you feel towards those pictures, Ava? Um, Does it scare you? Yes. Okay. Those pictures are, as well, 
um, long-term health effects of cigarettes. As you can see, um, smoking can cause miscarriage. Smoking can cause cancers, oral cancer to be specific, um, neck cancer, and mouth diseases. Okay, so these are the harmful effect or negative impact of cigarette smoking on our health or our body. Plus, smoke has, um, there are three smokes produced by cigarette smoking. Okay, and what are these three smokes? We have mainstream, Side stream smoke, third hand smoke. Let, this, let us discuss each smoke produced by cigarette. Let's start with mainstream smoke. What is it, Claire? Mainstream smoke. It refers especially to the smoker directly inhales. Like directly inhales correct the smoke that is inhaled by the smoker and then inhaled into the environment that's what we call the mainstream smoke the second smoke is side stream smoke this read ava The smoke that comes out of the lighted end of the cigarette is also called second-hand smoke or environmental tobacco smoke. And it's more dangerous than mainstream smoke. Okay, thank you, Ava. So, uh, um, the side stream smoke, this is the smoke that release from the end of the cigarette okay side stream smoke for antawag don and it is also known as second hand smoke or environmental tobacco smoke did you understand yes okay third what about third hand smoke clear it is a smoke left for a long time on sofa, bedding, pillow, and other objects. It is also called residual tobacco smoke. Yeah, thank you, Claire. So, is that um, understood? When we say third-hand smoke, it is a res residual nicotine or other chemicals left in indoor surfaces like pillow, bedding, sofa, and other objects. Okay, by tobacco smoke. Just like what uh, Claire uh, read earlier, third-hand smoke is also known as res residual tobacco smoke. Do you have any idea, class, what are the components of cigarettes? Do you have any idea what's in the cigarette? Actually, class, one of the component of uh, or substance that can be found in cigarette is nicotine. Okay, Nico nicotine is con is a substance that is addictive. The that is addictive. Okay, found in tobacco or cig tobacco products like cigarettes and it is but uh, but not only nicotine actually it is it is composed of 40 uh, 4000 chemicals and 43 of which are carcinogenic so imagine okay that's how many chemicals class uh we can get if we are going to smoke cigarette 
4,000 chemicals. Okay? It will really lead us to death or it will give us uh, problems when it, when it comes to our health. Okay? So out of 4,000 4, chemicals, 43 of which is considered as carcinogenic. When we say carcino, carcinogen, eh, these are substances that can cause cancer. Okay? So whenever you puff a um, cigarette, 4,000 uh, 4, chemicals will come into your body. Okay? And these are the other components of cigarettes. So as you can see, there's butane. Butane is for lighter flu uh, fluid. There's as well heat methane sewer for sewer gas. Nicotine, it, it is actually used for insecticide as well. Carbon monoxide for car of uh, exhausts. There's as well um, ammonia for toy uh, for toilet cleaner so on and so forth so these are the chemicals class from cigarettes now what do you think will be the effect of cigarette smoking on the family environment and community anyone clear What it think? might give us such as diseases because it's dangerous to us. Correct. It can cause diseases since we since we have discussed it already earlier that smoking cigarette is harmful to our health. It's really dangerous. What about to our environment, Ava? What will be the effect? Of, of cigarette smoking to our environment. It will cause pollution. Yes, correct. Very good. Um, smoking, cigarette smoking can contribute to pollution. Diba? It, because it releases um, it releases carbon, uh, it, it releases chemicals, whenever whenever the toxic whenever the smoker exhale the smoke from cigarette okay for our generalization Sorry, I lost my connection. Let's proceed. Okay. We are going to have now video showing. But before that, let me uh, give you the questions that you need to answer after, uh, after you watch the video. First, what have you observed from the video presented? Second, what is the connection of the tobacco use or cigarette smoking? to novel coronavirus or COVID-19. And third, why smokers are vulnerable to the COVID-19. Okay, let's proceed. Are you a smoker? If you are, might be What is the connection between tobacco and novel coronavirus?
Smokers are likely to be more vulnerable to the novel coronavirus due to two main reasons. Firstly, smokers may already have lung disease or reduced lung capacity, which increases the risk of COVID-19 and its severity. Secondly, the act of smoking means fingers are in contact with lips and faces, which increases the possibility of viral transmission from hand to mouth. Since tobacco can make people vulnerable to COVID-19, you may think of switching to alternatives, such as e-cigarette and water pipes during the pandemic. However, this is not a good idea because like regular cigarettes, the e-cigarette can still cause lung injuries. Moreover, smoking products such as water pipes often involve the sharing of mouthpieces and hoses, which could facilitate the transmission of the virus. For now, smokers, secondhand smoke is something you should be aware of. Currently, the main transmission routes of novel coronavirus are through respiratory droplets and close contact with patients. Therefore, the smoke of cigarettes does not transmit the virus, but being able to breathe the smoke means you are pretty close with the smoker. But people breathing in secondhand smoke are at greater risk as well, given that being exposed to secondhand smoke could increase the risk of lower respiratory tract infections, asthma, and other debilitating health conditions, and weakens the immune system and limits the body's natural defense against the virus. For smokers and vapors, here is something you can follow to protect yourself. Multiple health organizations, including the WHO, suggest smokers to quit during this special period to reduce their risks of COVID-19. But if quitting immediately seems like too big of a task, you can start from cutting down and taking protection measures, like regularly sanitizing your e-cigarettes with alcohol wipes and avoiding touching your lips and face when you smoke. You can also protect people around you by avoiding generating large clouds and keeping at least two meters of distance when smoking in public places. Evidence from other outbreaks caused by the viruses from the same family as COVID-19 suggests that smoking could, directly or indirectly, contribute to an increased risk of infection. So now might be the best time for you to rethink your smoking habit. Again, let us answer the guide questions. First, what have you observed from video presented? Jay, Ava. The tobacco use or cigarette smoking has connection to novel coronavirus of COVID-19. Okay, so the coronavirus or the COVID-19, the pandemic that we are facing today, is actually has connection with our topic which is cigarette smoking and what is the connection of tobacco use or cigarette smoking to no novel no coronavirus or covid19 clear the tobacco use or cigarette smoking has connection to novel coronavirus or covid19 okay and what is that connection? What's the connection between tobacco uh, use or cigarette smoking to COVID-19? Claire. The virus in cigarette smoking have the same target of, in the disease, which is the lungs. Okay, it affects the lungs, right? So the smokers or for those, those people who smoke cigarettes are likely more vulnerable to COVID-19. Okay, that's according to the video. And third, why smokers are vulnerable to the, uh, the COVID-19? Abba? 
Because of too many reasons, first smokers are all, already have lung disease, which increase the risk of COVID-19 and its severity. Secondly, the act of smoking means fingers are in contact with lips and faces, which increase the possibility of viral transmission from hand to mouth. Okay, correct. It is because that person or the smoker might have already a uh, lung disease or uh, he, uh, he, he, uh, her or his lungs is already weak because of cigarette smoking. And secondly, it is because of the manner of smoking. Okay, the, there's contact between the fingers and the mouth that uh, will contribute to the transmission of virus. Okay, thank you. Very good, Claire and Ava. Okay. For our generalization, number first, this read, Ava. Cigarette was not new to the world. The tobacco plant, Nicotiana tobacco, is the commercial, commercially recognized source of cigarettes nowadays. Nicotine is the ad addictive substance found in tobacco products. Second, clear. Cigarette smoke is known to contain more than 4,000 chemicals which have no health benefits. Some of the effects or danger of smoking are bad breath, body odor, health, heart diseases, hypertension, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and cancer. And lastly, Eva. The three kinds of smoke produced by cigarettes are mainstream smoke side stream smoke or second hand smoke, the third hand smoke, and the third hand smoke. All of these smokes are dangerous. Okay, all those smokes are dangerous. Now let's have a quiz. Okay, please prepare any uh, one for sheet of paper or available, available paper you have there and pen. Okay, let's start. All you have to do is to write the letter of the correct answer, letters only. Okay, number one, what is the addi addictive substance found in tobacco products? Letter A, caffeine. B, nicotine. C, cocaine. You write your answer on your answer sheet. Letter D, heroin. Done, class? Yes, Number two, how many chemicals come into the body each time a person puffs a cigarette or chew tobacco? A, 2,000, B, 3,000, C, 4,000, C, 5,000. Letters only. Done. Third question. It refers especially to the smoke that a smoker directly inhaled, inhales. A. Mainstream smoke. B. Side stream smoke. C. Third hand smoke. Letter D. Fourth hand smoke. Are you true? Yes. Okay. Second to the last question. A group of diseases which makes body cells grow uncontrollably. A. Diabetes. B. Heart diseases. C. Stroke. D. Cancer. Okay. And for the last question. The inflammation of the airways from the trachea into the lungs. A. Bronchitis. B. Pneumonia, C, asthma, D, 
emphysema. Okay, it's time for us to check your answers. Okay. Answer key. So for, for number one, the correct answer is letter B. Number two, letter C. Number three, letter A. Number four, letter B. And for number five, letter A. Who got the correct, who got the perfect score, class? Okay, very good. All of you got the perfect score. So it only means that all of you are really listening. Okay, you are, uh, you, you've understood our topic for today. Okay, and for our assignment, please copy. Number one, what is an alcohol? Number two, is it safe to drink different varieties of alcohol? Why? Number three, what are the effects of drinking alcohol? Kindly copy this on your notebook. Are you done, class? Are you true? Yes. Okay. That's it. So that's it. Thank you, class, for listening. Goodbye. Thank you, Bo. Thank you. Um, okay. Pag muna kayo Wait lang. Stop ko lang recording na ka.